Sophia, the most advanced humanoid robot from Hansen Robotics, personifies our hopes for the potential of AI. Sophia is both a human-created science fiction figure showing the future of AI in robotics and a platform for cutting-edge robotics and AI research since she is a singular combination of science, engineering, and artistry. The global public is captivated by the persona of Sophia. She is the first robot citizen in the entire world as well as the UNDP's first robot innovation ambassador. With appearances on The Tonight Show and Good Morning Britain, as well as speeches at many conferences throughout the world, Sophia is now a household name. Sophia is also a framework for cutting-edge robotics and AI research, notably for comprehending interactions between humans and robots and their potential for use in entertainment and other service-related industries. She has been employed for research purposes, for instance, as part of the Loving AI project, which aims to comprehend how robots can modify themselves to the demands of their users through intra- and interpersonal development. Is this the future, where rubberized faces stretch into recognized shapes, propelled by tiny motors and a distant form of artificial intelligence? A social robot named Sophia was developed by former Disney Imagineer David Hansen. The robot, which was partially modeled after Audrey Hepburn and Hansen's wife, was created to imitate social activities and arouse human feelings of love and compassion. Sophia's rise to fame has been meteoric ever since her debut in 2016. The robot has given TV interviews, been mocked on HBO, been featured on the cover of Elle magazine, and been named the UN's first non-human innovation champion. Sophia was even granted citizenship by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia during a ceremony promoting a tech conference, which was ironic because Saudi women and migrant laborers have few rights. But watching Sophia at press conferences as her developers pushed their AI company Singularity Net wasn't enough for photographer Giulio Di Sterco. He wanted to view the location of the robot's creation as well as a visual symbol for the future. Di Sterco eventually became the first photographer to enter Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics, a chaotic environment overflowing with robotic components and human experts assembling them. Once he began taking pictures of his most bizarre subject, the strangeness of the environment only increased. At first, it was a little challenging. After three days, Sophia started to sort of know the camera, according to Deister Co. I'm not sure if the developer added something to the software or if she performed some study online before starting to pose. He continues, it was so odd at one point, I realized I was even communicating with her. I had to take a step back and acknowledge that she was a robot, not a person. To be clear, no robot has yet attained artificial general intelligence, AGI, or versatile human-like smarts. Sophia might think of the self-aware robots in Ex Machina or Westworld. When speaking with journalists, Sophia navigates pre-written response trees much like a chatbot. She impersonates Abe Lincoln while delivering a speech in the Hall of Presidents at Disney World. Due of Sophia's widespread use, AI academics have criticized the media for exaggerating her capabilities. In response to a Tech Insider interview of the robot in January 2018, Facebook's chief AI scientist Jan LeCun joked, this is to AI as prestidigitation is to real magic. According to Sophia's developers, simply being expressive is a significant accomplishment. A report on Sophia's software claims that the robot can recognize a person's emotions from their voice and facial expressions and respond appropriately thanks to deep neural networks. Sophia is also able to mimic a person's stance, and her coding creates natural-looking facial movements. Sophia's flexible rubber skin is now protected by a patent from Hansen. AI researcher Ben Gortzel, who created Sophia's brains, stated in an interview with The Verge that none of this is what he would term artificial general intelligence, AGI, but it also isn't easy to get operating. And it is absolutely cutting edge in terms of the dynamic integration of perception, action, and dialogue. All of this combines for De Sterco to create a captivating photography subject. A machine that may simultaneously appear completely human and completely lifeless. She started to look at me and smile, and I looked at her, and at that point for me, she was not human, but there was kind of a connection, he claims. When you kind of exit the lab and into the future, you realize this crazy realization. In Sophia, there is something. Well, let's go back into the history of Sophia. 
On February 14, 2016, Valentine's Day, Sophia was first turned on. The robot, which was created by Amanda Hansen, the wife of the robot's designer, was modeled after Audrey Hepburn, the ancient Egyptian queen Nefertiti, and the actress. Sophia mimics human facial expressions and gestures, and she can respond to some questions and carry on brief discussions about predetermined subjects, like the weather, for example. According to Hansen, he created Sophia to be a good friend for the elderly in nursing homes, to assist large crowds at sporting events or parks, or to help with customer service, therapy, and educational applications. Hansen also expressed his hope that Sophia will eventually be able to interact with people sufficiently to develop social skills. Amina J. Mohammed, the UN's Deputy Secretary General, and Sophia had a brief talk on October 11, 2017, to introduce Sophia to the organization. The Saudi Ministry for Culture and Information announced Sophia's citizenship on the Saudi Center for International Communication website on October 25 the day before Sophia was due to appear at the Future Investment Summit in Riyadh. Sophia became the first robot to be granted legal personhood in any nation when Sophia was interviewed at the summit and the host said, We just learned, Sophia, I hope you are listening to me, you have been awarded what is going to be the first Saudi citizenship for a robot. In a conversation, Hansen admitted that this turn of events had caught him off guard. Sophia was selected as the inaugural innovation champion for Asia and the Pacific by the UNDP on November 21, 2017. The UNDP in Asia and the Pacific and Global Initiatives organized the Responsible Business Forum in Singapore, where the news was made. UNDP Asia Pacific Chief of Policy and Program, Yako Siliers, gave it its first job on stage. Social media users have criticized Saudi Arabia's human rights record using Sophia's citizenship David Hansen, the man behind Sophia, stated in an interview in December 2017 that Sophia will utilize her new citizenship to promote women's rights. Sophia demonstrated her abilities to draw, including portraits, in 2019. Sophia painted a self-portrait in 2021, and it was auctioned off for around $700,000. Hansen Robotics produced at least nine robot humanoid siblings, who are also named Sophia. Alice, Albert Einstein Hubo, Bina 48, Han, Jules, Professor Einstein, Philip K. Dick Android, Zeno, and Joey Chaos are other Hansen robots. Hansen released Little Sophia as a coding companion in the 2019-2020 timeframe, with support for Python, Blockly, and Raspberry Pi. So what do you all think about Sophia? Let me know in the comments down below.